now coming back here for the Bombers to try and avoid any late moments here. Howard pinned in the tackle, spills out. Kennedy's going to sink this long. Top of the goal square. I tell you what, Newman's at the back. Almost takes the mark, recovers. He'll kick the goal. It's there. It's back on. It's on. There's no doubt about it, Vicky. It's on. The game's on. Because it's just a goal of difference. One goal of difference. Time we know. But Merrick gets an important kick. Sydney have got numbers. Grundy gets it. Off they go. They can't make a blue. They've got the ball in hand. Mills goes long. Centre half forward. Oh, what a mark by Danaher. Or was it Leo Barry? Oh, what a mark. What a moment. Danaher, long footy. Still in it, though, Sydney. It can easily come back from here. And guess what? Here it comes. Naismith winds up again. Look who's marked it. Look who's kicked it. Look how far out he is. Long ball. He misses to the right-hand side with 28 seconds left. Can the Bombers maintain possession? They have five points up, and there's a smother by Papley to keep him in the hut. And the Bombers have got to pack up this stoppage, just get numbers around it. The Swans somehow have to walk their opponents away and create just a little bit of space for someone to do their work. It's come down to this last play. Bill Chambers, ball at the back, kick by Redby. Mark, 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 Rowe. It is unbelievable. It's an, ex it's an extraordinary night. And he's going to milk the clock, so they're going to win. Then they won't have a chance. They're going to win. Can't miss this, can he? Won't miss this. It'll be a one-point win. They're going to be in the eight. How did they do that from 19 points with three minutes or something? They were 0 and 6. They're in the eight. He can't believe it. How lucky he is. They'll be very dangerous. Oh, a little gift to Merritt. Merritt back towards Saad. If it sits, watch out. It didn't. No high tackle. Massive non-call by the umpire. And Sydney with a stoppage. So when Merritt looked up, the Swans defence as well said in front of him. None of the Essen forwards had gotten over to the far side of the ground. Had to force that extra handball. Heard the umpire. He said, you ducked under. Here's Shield. What a last quarter he's played. He swings it to the middle of the ground. They've got to go. Redmond marks. So he can go back and drive it long. 40 seconds left on the clock. Zaharakis inside the square. Goes down towards full forward. Hooker creates the contest. Hacked out by Rampy. Still alive now. Zaharakis at the back. Redmond. Brilliant tackle. Blakey. Blakey. Breakout night. Brilliant tackle. Is that the game? Well, fitting duck and Jimmy and Basil that this young man may have the final play. He's kicked it straight to the opposition, though. And there is time. Hurley, there's one last roll of the dice. It's in Saad's hands. Fox is trying to corral him. Saad goes short. Oh, you know what? It's the one bloke, it is the one bloke out there that's got a sniff. The only man, I reckon, out there that might go all the way. Yeah, he's a, he is a it's long. Myers, and he can go a mile, not without a hope. How big is this? Dropped last week. Has always felt a little on the edge. High draft pick. This will be the biggest moment in his career if he can get it home. The odds are against him. It's fanciful, I know, and it's not going to do it, and Sydney have broken the drought. You know what? There's a pulse at the SCG tonight. The difference. It's one mistake away from death from either side. Brand knocked down. Smith waited for the tackle. To let go, short little ball, and it's the journey. And Parrish now is able to take 30 seconds off the clock here, which brings it to 30 seconds remaining.
I reckon if you're within range and you can kick the goal, surely, Joe. Yeah, I think he's having a shot at goal. And wonderful composure by Devin Smith there just to hit him up. 12 touches in the final quarter. Give yourself a chance to win the game. And he has kicked the goal. Parrish has kicked the goal for the Bombers. They're up by seven points. 32 seconds on the clock. Parrish may be the match winner. 17 touches in the match. 13 of them in this final term. That is a big finish from the youngster. He has, and he had a really good, strong second half of the year, and he showed that form in this last quarter today. Didn't he handle the moment brilliantly then? Game in the balance, and he came up with a major. Here's Rowbottom. Maybe there's a chapter or two left. Rowbottom long. Oh! Time left for a goal and a draw. Yes, they can defend here, Haim, so they can defend the kick out, take a mark. So this is danger, 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 danger for the Bombers. No one to stop Hurley playing on now. McCartan comes in. 15 seconds and ticking. It's got to be near perfection. They've got to keep it alive here, Sydney. Belt Chambers, who can get on this? Eight seconds. Now here comes the kick. An opportunity. Good tackle. Good tackle in the end. It was from Snelling. Snelling will hear the siren. And Essendon will defeat Sydney on the SCG here. A great effort. They've hung on. That man there kicking the winning goal in the closing stages. Stringer important early. Time more about this final minute and a half, two points. What about this game all round? Nick Cox, the 19-year-old, the centre bounce, picking with his experience. One at forward, his buddy, front and centre. Errol's got a chance to ice the game. Cross the face. Margin three points. Plenty of time for Essendon. Laverde spots his man, Nick Cox. Three metres back. Two more. Two more back. Sydney's trying to slide numbers back as fast as they can. Cox happy to go through the middle of the ground. Reed flew, couldn't connect. Cunningham had it. McDonald tip and Woody straight onto him. Somehow, Cunningham ends up with the football. Hickey. He's in fifth gear. He can't find a way to get to the ball. So 43 seconds on the clock. Ben Rutten. Welcome to senior coaching. Well, we saw last week that you, you can do so much with 43 seconds. There's plenty of time if you're an Essendon supporter to be able to move the ball from one end to the ground. John Longmire at ground level, screaming instructions. Hickey grabbed it. Hasn't got rid of it. Got to be gone. Oh. So we know there's no prior opportunity, but he then played on and had prior opportunity. Hickey grabs it clean out of the ruck again. Bombers are going to do something special from here. From behind, good contest. McDonald, Errol Gordon, the young stand, a bounce on the full. So coast to coast, the Bombers have got to go. Look at Hawes. He's going nuts. The Bombers have time. Have they got the poise? Can they handle the moment? Florence slaps towards the boundary line. Keen to get back to the football, pushes it towards the youngster in Warner, runs out of space. That was what? an unbelievable decision by Florent to leave his man, push up and affect the ball without letting it go behind him because there was space on that outer side. Contact Essendon. You've got him high. Sand. They're out. Touch, touch. Play on. Play on. Heard the umpire, spills to Parker to Florent again, and the Bombers are going to fall short. Another Swans and Bombers epic. A Thursday night thriller, an SCG special. These two teams, Swans, just.